Well, I'm at the church, and uh, it looks like he's got this ready for concrete. He had to fill that all that in. When I say I'm at the church, you know, it's a church sign. If you've been watching my videos, uh, I've been talking about the church sign when they put up a new, a new um, thing, a new, a new message on the sign. Well, he's got that looking real good. The wind's blowing out of the west. It's cold as heck. Uh, the girl that just passed me is is a pro. I may put some information in a picture, insert something about her right, right about here, so y'all can see who she is. I kept up with her for about a quarter of a mile. <laughs> she was doing 24 miles an hour into the wind. Well, hey everybody, this is a video of the flyby. If I do it right, you can see uh, how fast Danielle is. Now this is me making my way up the big NN Hill. And I get over on County Line Road and I'm going really good. Got to go get some water, so I stop at the Hardy's. Here she comes, and she's just a flying. Boom! She catches me. I stay with her for a little bit, and I stop at the church sign, make a video, and she's just steadily maintaining twenty almost 21 miles an hour average but I thought I'd show you <laughs> her basically lapping me and if, if I had tried to stay with her I'd have been a sacrifice because it would have killed me remember sacrifice two little red dots and those who did huh. I sure don't want to say nothing that gets anybody upset because we all know that without the sacrifice of what the Bible teaches us about Jesus um, there really wouldn't be no religion called Christianity and for most Christians it's all based around that sacrifice and that is at odds with me but I'm not going to try to come against it. I'm not going to say that's what happened. Because they was murdering Christians left and right back in them days. The Chaldeans. The Nicaeans. Any little group of people that came into conscious awareness. The system rubbed them out then. And they're just like they're shadow banding and blocking us now. The people that are awaken to the truth of the matrix and the scam of the money system and the religious system and the world system as a whole and uh, so we talk against that but don't ever mistake me for talking against a, a whole world religion called Christianity I'm just gonna look you dead in this camera and say I'm not a Christian I am not in man-made religion, period. Don't want anything to do with it. I get thrown out of churches if I talk or say too much about who I am. If I tell people that I've always been and I always will be, but I'm not my body and I'm not my story, they are so freaking confused they don't know what I am. Well, that's what Christ was telling him. All of them didn't understand him even the 12 that was with him if you can believe that piece of the story but whether he lived or didn't whether he was an allegory or a myth or totally made up it sure has made a mess out of religion around the world i don't care if that rattles your feathers or not whether you're left wing or right wing are you just the feathers on the same bird? Because that's all we are. Until we know who we are, we're just feathers on a bird. We don't know if we're right wing, left wing, the tail feathers, the beak. We don't know. And that's like right now. 
the world is so confused about all of this politics it's got got so much show business in it now that it's just ridiculous you have to read between the lines and do your own research look into it really good and you'll follow the money because the secrets are hidden in plain sight about who is the controllers of this world and they're not even from here people the type of power and energy that these folks have is supernatural to say the least it's at the high level of it it's pure deed satanism it's luciferian in nature but if we talk about it it's like what Jesus was trying to say if it was the story of the man Yahshua ben Joseph he was trying to tell them they was <laughs> they was playing a game and they're playing a game now he tried to tell them this world was not real it is real because if I walk out in front of a truck I'm gonna get hit it's gonna hurt it's real it has rules like a like a rule set in a computer simulation that's how freaking real it is you want to know how real it is you start changing your body with your mind and you'll see that's what I'm doing I got a long way to go don't get me wrong like I ain't saying I'm all that and all gonna be you know world champion and all this but over the years if you've been watching I've been getting better I've been getting faster, stronger, and I'm doing it with my thinking. And I'm actually being able to change the way I think better and better. As you see a result in your body, it'll make you realize the most important thing is keeping this physical form in good top shape so we can observe these idiots in the game. We can observe these politicians that all of them need to be excused off the scene, retired and go home and play some local politics. That's just as dirty as, the, as any other kind of politics. But what we need is technicians. I've said that before, and I'm not the first that said that the venus guy venus project guy i can't think of his name right this second but he's the one that coined that phrase and he did a real good job of saying it but we don't need politicians we need technicians we need people that can solve problems we need people that can actually know that this is a game oh if we had one awakened president i think that would have been kennedy and i think that his waking conscious mind and realizing that the, mater the materialism of the elite were controlling the ma military complex and it was taking everything into a direction he didn't want to go and I think he understood consciousness and that's what got him killed there's a lot of things got him killed <laughs> but he, he got killed because of a lot of things I don't know what the one particular one was but whatever it was it pissed a lot of people off one of them was a five dollar gold no five dollar silver certificate and it had at the top of it instead of Federal Reserve note it had well hey everybody this is buddy this is the five dollar silver certificate note I said at the top it said uh, United I think that silver note, United States, that's what that says. Yeah, I said in the video that I made earlier, it was, uh, it said United States Treasury, but I was wrong. It doesn't say that, but this is the one that I own. I've had it for a very long time. So I'd advise you to do your research on searching Kennedy's name and use the Federal Reserve. Kennedy and Federal Reserve 
and you will see what he was really trying to do to the Federal Reserve System. United States Treasury note. I actually got one. I might insert a picture of it right, you know, as I'm talking right there. <laughs> so you can see it. I try to do these editing things on the fly, you know, like I'm going to really <laughs> do a bunch of editing. Y'all know I'm not going to do a no bunch of editing, especially when YouTube is acting really not good with me. They got, I was making 30, I was making, I was getting 30,000 views a day at my height being in Jamaica. That's across all of my YouTube, all of my YouTube channel. And now I'm down to, um, I don't know what the average is, but it's getting like, it's like a good day is 1,800 views. <laughs> a bad day is like 800 views. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Are they doing that because I'm talking about something they don't want to me to say? Or am I doing that because they don't like me? Are they doing that because I'm telling the truth? <laughs> I don't know. Are they doing that because some of the videos I put up, I had the rights through Creative Commons and Section 17 of the Copyright Act and literally had permission from a lot of the users to use their videos. But no, they got me for duplication. They got, they got me demonetized. And, of course, shadow ban. So, long story short, sacrifice. We all make them. We all are that sacrifice. We sacrifice ourselves every day on the cross of our mind where we decide to make the right decision based on love. We come out of fear, and actually, and you really want to know a, a trick to this, is that you stop thinking with your mind, and you relax and you think with your heart. Your heart is way more powerful than your mind ever was. It takes a little work, takes a little practice, but I have to catch myself trying to analyze something with my monkey mind, and it don't get it. So I drop back down into my heart and I just realize that I am the peace. I am the truth. And whatever needs to be sacrificed, I'm okay with it. Because I'm not attached. And when you get to the point that you're not attached to the things of this world, the money of this world, the views of this world on your YouTube channel, you're not even attached to your channel, then you can hear what your heart is saying. And it's saying, come out of fear and be more into love on a daily basis and be happy. And like Joe Turner from Tupelo, Tupelo Joe told me, first conversation we ever had, we were talking about the I Am in Exodus. He said, I got so much I can tell you, buddy, so much. We're going to have time to get back together. He was leaving for a trip. And this was the first time I ever met him. We sat down and talked for about three hours. And he said, but I can tell you this. Be free. Freedom within your mind, your body, and just be free. He's right. Well, I wish you'd see what I see. I see another big old snapping turtle. He coming from right over there. I don't know where he thinks he's going, but he was up really high walking. I'd like to got a picture of that. But this is where I met Vista. I noticed they uh, put another foundation in over there. Going to be interesting to see how big of a pretty house that is. This is that house right there. There's a warning sign. You got to re always remember to call before you dig. 
Well, I don't want to mess with him. He's pretty good old biggin. I'll leave him alone. Well, I got a little bit of a barn raising going on. Got some Amish working on it. Of course, they don't like pictures or videos. So I'm going to keep the camera pretty much off of them. But be interesting to see how big of a structure that's going to be. This ain't a good view right here, but I'll get a better view later. But as you can see, they're going to do it. Alright. I'm in the way of traffic here. You can see he had some trees get broken down, so he went on and did a lot of clearing right there. This is where I'm at. Farm Road 237 and County Line Road. Alright, I'll give you an update on this building project as I go by it. Sometimes, not every time. Well, I'm back at this beautiful field here. Got the pond, and you can see the grass, how it's waving in the wind. It's The wind's blowing out of the west. That is directly west. And so that'd be north looking back that direction. Beautiful field and a windy damn day and cold. It ain't warmed up hardly none at all. But the wind is blowing. You can see them clouds rolling down this road. I don't know if this video camera can actually see all that, but it definitely is beautiful today. Not as blue as it once was, but it's as pretty as it's always been. You know, sometimes, I think I'm zoomed in. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just got to stop and, and look at things. You got to take your time and, 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 and absorb the view. Our eyes are the best cameras ever made. That's all they're trying to do is duplicate our vision. AI is going to do something with some cameras here pretty soon. It's going to blow you away. I try to keep up with uh, latest film technologies. Uh, you know, because I, I am a videographer of sense. You know, I can like I, I kind of know a little bit about some of it. <laughs> Don't know nothing. I'm watching this stuff to learn about it. But I tell you what, they used to make all the movies with film. Now they're starting to do it with digital, digital cameras. And some of these cameras can cost up to low end ninety thousand dollars, high end five hundred thousand. And all it is is trying to duplicate the eye. And it's so funny how this camera it has got a really good quality picture. And it didn't cost me hardly. I bought it at Sam's Club and it was on display. And I got it for $100. And I'll, now i got to put a picture of my camera so you can see what camera I'm using right now. This is the camera that zooms in really good. Let me. Oh, you see them logs way over there? Let me zoom in on them logs. Look at that. Give it a second. Oh, it's fighting me now. It's fighting me. I'm bragging about my camera and it ain't, it ain't zooming right. It ain't focusing. But once you take your time with it. If I had it on a tripod, it would look beautiful. It still looks good. Look at them clouds. Ain't that pretty? Look back over there. Can you see the grass moving? That's what I want to show you. lady left a comment and said in the other video it looked like 
waves in an ocean, a green ocean. Uh, it's definitely beautiful. All right, people, gotta get down the road and <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> Ain't gonna be but uh, 42 miles. We'll see. I'm at 35 miles and I'm I just ain't no way I'm going to go no 62 miles a day. All right, I'll let you know what I do when I get there. All right, you can see where I'm at. There's old Riley's. You can see the tire track and the grass right through there. Right over the top of that cover, right across this curb, and just mowed down that telephone box. Didn't it look, He hit the bush, too. Cause the bush don't even look right. I noticed it this morning when I drove by and I told myself I gotta come back by and take a picture of this. Yeah, you don't see that every day, just every week. Ha! These little telephone boxes catch hell. Now you know they try to put them out of the way, but it, it just, I mean, it's just pitiful. <laughs> That telephone box is dead. <laughs> he, <laughs> he straight up down, mowed it down. Now here's where we at. It's right outside of this home farm and home store. There's the church. Was he drunk or what? <laughs> yeah, even the road scraped up. Yeah, if your telephone ain't working, this is probably why. 